Hello viewers, in this video I would like to discuss about geometrical interpretation of newton Raphson method. Here we see there is a curve y is equal to fx and it cuts x-axis at certain point. We start with an initial approximation that is x0 and we see that the value of function at x0 is fx0. We draw a perpendicular from x0 to the curve and at the intersecting point we draw a tangent which, which cuts the x-axis at x1. This tangent makes an angle theta with x-axis. Again we take x1 as a point and which is the next approximated root and from here we draw a perpendicular to the curve. At the intersecting point we draw a tangent and it cuts x-axis at x2. From here again we draw a perpendicular to the curve and from this intersecting point we take tangent which cuts at x3 and we keep on moving till we reach to the root or which is very near to the root. So we can say that newton Raphson method is based on linear approximation of the function using a tangent to the curve. Starting from a single estimate x0 that is not far from the root we move along the tangent to the its intersection with the x-axis and take that as an next approximation. This is continued until either the successive x values are sufficiently close or the value of the function is sufficiently near 0. Now we can write down that tan theta is equal to fx0 upon x0 minus x1. We take this rightmost triangle and we write down the value of tan theta which is of course is equal to derivative of the function that is f dash x0. From these last two values we can write down x1 is equal to x0 minus fx0 upon f dash x0. This is the formula of newton Raphson method and we can write down it in general form also. Let's take example based on it. It's example 4 of newton Raphson method. Find the real root of equation x minus e to the power minus 2x is equal to 0 using the newton Raphson method. We see that here if we put x is equal to e to the power minus 2x, we have two curves here y is equal to x which we have drawn here and y is equal to e to the power minus 2x. So we get the intersecting point of these two curves y is equal to x and y is equal to e to the power minus 2x that will be the root of the equation. It means the value of x at this intersecting point satisfies the equation. So we say fx is equal to x minus e to the power minus 2x. We find out its derivative f dash x is equal to 1 plus 2 e to the power minus 2x. Now we put this value, these two values in the formula. This is the general formula of newton Raphson method that is xn minus fxn upon f dash xn and it takes values 0, 1, 2 and so on. Now we put value of function and its derivative in the formula. n is equal to 0 we take so we will find out x1 but the term uh, which is xn minus e to the power minus 2xn upon 1 plus 2 e to the power minus 2xn we first calculate this one and we take x0 as 0.5 so we take x0 as 0.5 as an initial approximation and this term we write with minus sign which is h0 we can denote calculate this term which comes this so our root will be x1 will be 0.5 minus h0 so x1 is 0.5 minus h0 is this value and this comes 0.42388. If we say in other words, it is x1 is equal to x0 plus h0. h0 is with negative sign. Therefore, we can say x0 minus h0. Now, we have this general formula and we keep on continuing next approximate roots. And these are the roots here, first, second, third, iteration after we got this. Now, these are the error values. It means we can solve the equation with exact values also. And we see there is no 
error in third iteration and we got the exact root and exact root is 0.426302275 thank you